Now the question is, why this missile is a preferred missile system with so many countries? What is BrahMos missile system all about? The BrahMos was developed from Russia's NPO Mashinostroyna P-800 Onyx family of cruise missiles through a joint venture between NPOM and India's Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO named BrahMos Aerospace. BrahMos missile was first test fired on 12th June 2001 from integrated test range Chandipur in a vertical launch configuration. BrahMos cruise missiles are capable of being launched from multiple platforms like submarines, ships, aircraft and land-based mobile autonomous launchers. The 5th September 2000 test of BrahMos missile created a world record for being the first cruise missile in the world to be tested at supersonic speeds in a steep dive mode. BrahMos missile became the only supersonic cruise missile possessing advanced capability of selection of a particular land target amongst a group of targets, thus providing an edge to the user with a precise hit capability. The later version of BrahMos, the Block 3 Plus variant, has demonstrated its mountain warfare capability with upgraded software and new advanced guidance system incorporating large-scale maneuvers and steep dive capability in high altitudes coupled with precision strike capability. It is now deployed along the line of actual control to tackle any high-value Chinese threat in this region of Himalayas. The BrahMos missile has the capability of attacking surface targets by flying as low as 5 meters in altitude and a maximum altitude that it can fly is 15,000 meters. It can attain a speed of Mach 2.8 and has a maximum range of 650 kilometers. The ship-launched and land-based missiles can carry a warhead of 200 kgs, whereas the aircraft launch variant can carry up to 300 kgs of warhead. It has a two-stage propulsion system with a solid propellant rocket for initial acceleration and a liquid-fueled ramjet responsible for sustained supersonic cruise giving BrahMos a longer range than a pure rocket-powered missile would ever achieve. The BrahMos missile has an identical configuration for land, sea and subsea platforms. The air launch version has a smaller booster and additional tail fins for added stability during the launch. The air-launched BrahMos missile has currently been configured for aerial deployment with Su-30 MKI as its carrier. The BrahMos missile also utilizes fire and forget system, requiring no additional input from the operator once missile has been launched. To achieve uh, the higher speeds, uh, that is at hypersonic speeds, you need something known as a scramjet, that is supersonic combustion ramjet, wherein the uh, combustion and the fuel air uh, mixing takes place at speeds of between 6 to 7 Mach, and the rocket achieves a speed of nearly up to 15 Mach. The high speed of BrahMos missile gives it a better target penetration characteristics than lighter subsonic cruise missiles such as the Tomahawk. Being twice as heavy and almost four times as fast as the Tomahawks, the BrahMos missile has more than 32 times the on-cruise kinetic energy that of the Tomahawk missile. Although it carries only three-fifths of the payload and fraction of the range which suggests that this missile was designed with a different tactical role. Its Mark 2.8 speed means that it cannot be intercepted by some existing missile defense systems and its precision makes it lethal for on-surface targets at sea. 